We will begin this story after the great flood came and purified the earth of all disharmony. A new earth was created with the help of the four leggeds. Nana Buju made many journeys, and once again he returned to the second people of the earth. The second people of earth felt their way across the land, yet struggled to grow in number. Diseases claimed many lives, and mankind's hold on life was precarious, as they had not yet learned to live in balance with the natural world. But there were those who watched over the second people. The Creator had given the people of Earth seven grandfathers to watch over them. The seven grandfathers dispatched their helper Oshkabewis to Earth to bring back to them a person fit to teach the ways of the grandfathers. Six times Oshkabewis searched the Earth for someone to learn from the grandfathers. Oshkabewis knew in his heart that this child was the one he should take to the seven grandfathers. Then he returned to the lodge of the grandfathers for the seventh and final time. As the boy reached seven years old, Oshkabewis told him he was ready to return to the spirit world and the lodge of the seven grandfathers. The seven grandfathers could sense that the boy had grown to be ready, and it warmed their hearts. The way I get you going, he mandated me to go in the Sultan of Mecca, the Jinnah of Siwag, the Jinnah of Iwag, the square of Oman Shawanog, the Kade of Oman Ningabia Nog, the Bishka of Oman Kiwati Nog, the Ojan of Oman Wabanog. The boy saw so much beauty he could not comprehend it. In front of his eyes was all of time, all colors, sounds, and joys of the universe. The boy did not yet understand what the gifts of the grandfathers were, but he knew they were good things. Oshkabewis traveled the earth four times to find someone suitable to accompany the boy home. But on his fifth journey to Earth, he came upon Nagig, the otter, playing in the water. The normally playful Nagig was very serious in his mission of guiding the boy safely to Earth. With each stop, the boy picked up a shell he had found laying nearby. He was growing in age, and he began to understand more things. During his time in the spirit world, many years had passed on Earth. These are my people. For although the man had barely laid eyes on earth, he somehow remembered his home, and he knew he could teach the people. We shall help them. They struggle because they do not yet know how to live. They do not know the balance of Wendaninu Although when Otter finally returned to his friend, he was surprised to see he had become an old man. We have seen many travels and learned many things, my friend. I have one last gift for you. The shells we found on our journey are special. They are gifts which will figure into your future. It is a Migas shell, the same kind the Creator blew on to give life to mankind. Keep it with you throughout your life. Will you come with me to my people? I have kept my word to the grandfathers getting you this far. Now if you can catch me, then I will continue to follow you. He ran up the riverbank, turned and laughed at his friend the old man, who was not able to follow him. The old man knew he was on his own. He knew he had serious business ahead of him. He thanked his friend, then turned and continued the final leg of his journey toward his village. Na, Ninkuzis. We know that you would return to us one day. That hope is all that has kept us alive. 
I was away getting this gift. It is made with all the love and power of our Creator. I have spent my life in a journey to the star world and the spirit world, where I met the seven grandfathers who watch over and guide us. They gave to me seven gifts, so I would give them to you. To cherish knowledge is to know wisdom. To know love is to know peace. To honor all of creation is to have respect. Bravery is to face the foe with integrity. Honesty in facing a situation is to be honorable. Humility is to know yourself as a sacred part of the creation. And truth is to know all of these things. When you use these gifts in your life, you must always take care not to involve their opposites. The gifts will make us strong and prosper. Their opposites will hurt us all. You must all learn and live these things yourself. The grandfather said we are to live in balance between the physical and its opposite, the spiritual. It is the spiritual side that keeps the physical side healthy. The Creator has given us ways to explore the spiritual, fasting, dreaming, meditating, the Bawa Jige win of the vision quest. If we can strike the balance between physical and the spiritual and conduct our lives in harmony with what has been taught to us, we shall find happiness. With this new knowledge, the people of Earth grew and prospered. They learned to lead harmonious lives and they grew stronger. Generation after generation bloomed, following the path set before them by the old man. To this day, the path and all their teachings are still laid out for all to learn. Will these ways bring balance to your life? That is up to you.